Hey guys, it's Amanda, and I wanted to update you on the results of implementing a writer's workshop inside a first grade, first grade classroom. Um, I did not implement a whole writer's workshop model, but instead focused on mini lessons. And throughout this action-based research project, I wanted to focus on two areas. One of my questions was, how would this writer's workshop model or the mini lessons help with attitudes, student attitudes towards writing. And the second question was how would this workshop um, affect students writing skills. Attitudes I tested and recorded data with two surveys, one a pre-survey and then I used the exact same survey as a post-survey after I had implemented all the mini lessons to record data on students' writing skills. I took students throughout the mini lessons and had them do multiple writing assessments. I noted their pre-assessment and then their post-assessment and graded them on a rubric that was minimally subjective and I focused on the areas of capitalization, punctuation, noting details, handwriting, and spacing. And so I wanted to see if these students could increase these skills as we went through the mini lessons. As for attitudes, in the pre-survey, I noted that most students had negative attitudes towards writing in general. Um, two, of the most, two of the areas that got the most negative results were writing during their free time at school, writing at home for fun. And so I wanted students to feel like they could write at any time during the day or the year or throughout any grade without any negative feelings towards writing. And so after implementing the quick mini lessons, I think that's what helped the students' attitudes a lot, I found that students were willing to write at school for fun. And specifically during our writing center, students loved the idea of having a free write or looking at their writing journals and taking ideas and just writing about them. That really increased and also the idea of writing at fun. I've had a lot of students go home and write and bring in their writing samples for me to look at, which was awesome. As for writing skills, I had students do, like I said, many writing assessments, and then I had my teacher assistant grade two of the writing samples, which I pulled as the um, first writing, sam writing sample before the mini lessons, and then the last writing sample. After all the mini lessons, she had no idea which students uh, were which, like their papers, and then also which was the pre-assessment and the post-assessment, and she graded it on a rubric based on the five areas that we were focus focusing on. So I felt like it was minimally subjective because the rubric was very specific, as in zero to one errors was a five, two to three was a four, and so on. So it was on a point system based on the amount of errors they had. The only problem I found was noting um, errors in noting details because that is a little subjective on details. You can't really be specific about that. But um, after my teacher assistant graded the assessment, she found that students really increased their successfulness in capitalization, punctuation, and also spelling of the core words, as well as handwriting and spacing. So we focused on those four areas since they were pretty specific. I had um, the best result was one student received a zero for no capitalization and punctuation correct in his first writing assignment to a four, which means he had four out of the five standards noted. So um, I was really happy with the results and I found that a lot of my lower students were very successful with specific mini lessons that focused on specific writing skills. So overall, I was really happy and I can't wait to record it all in my paper. Thank you.